What's up, everybody? Using the fisheye today. I got um, some samples pulled up. Samples from Mars. Um, got a 90 BPM track pulled up um, with a eighth note clicks. And I'm going to lay something down today. I've also got the Tascam Model 12 back in the apartment because... I am trying to just mess with it more. I really don't want to get rid of it if I don't have to. It does have certain advantages. Um, I recorded a performance for Tiny Desk uh, for their contest, and I used it, and it came in handy. There were some little issues, but I'm trying to learn it as much as I can before I actually get rid of it if I do end up getting rid of it. But let's get into it. That's cool. Let's overdub something. Cool. Let's overdub again. Or let me play through it first. Let's do it. All right, I think we're good with that. Okay, got this Bluetooth keyboard out. I got a uh, thump one patch preset pulled up on the baseline synth and I got this little yeah I think there's an issue with this keyboard so I'm gonna have to send it back and get another one so the keys are just sticking like crazy I don't even press down that hard because I don't have much dexterity but Hopefully I can get that done quickly. <laughs> let's uh, let's give it a shot. Here we go. Nope. Okay, here we go. Yep, got some key stickage. Uh, this might be a problem, but I'll just edit it down later on if it is. Undo. Not quite. Sweet, we got that. Okay, doubled up on the length of the sequence, pulled up the Abandon patch from the Jura synth, and I got a... thing. Let's uh, go ahead and try to get it going. Okay, good. First try. That rarely ever happens. All right, so now comes the most important part of this video today. So I have a drum line, I have a bass line, and I have a synthesizer melody 
all courtesy of the MPC One Plus. But the main purpose of today's video is actually the Tascam Model 12. And so what I'm going to do now, um, I have a stereo pair of cables going into channels three and four of the Tascam Model 12 out of the two inputs on the back of the MPC One Plus. I'm not using the uh, digital USB capabilities of the MPC One Plus today because what I'm trying to familiarize myself with is the recording functionality of the Tascam Model 12 because to be honest, that's more useful to me than the DAW control component. I don't really have an issue using my laptop to control Logic Pro 10, which is my the digital audio workstation of choice. But what's nice is that I can come out of the MPC One Plus into this. I can add a little bit of that compression. I also picked up a channel strip recently. So if I really want to, I can go through the channel strip before I go into this, or I can use the channel strip as an insert in between the two and get some compression, get some EQ, uh, use the rest of the dynamics control that are available on the ART voice channel that I just picked up. So I'm trying to get used to this whole workflow and see if it adds some value to the situation that I have going on. So I'm just going to go out of this into the Tascam Model 12 with what you just heard me create. So I'm going to switch camera angles and be back. So here we are. I'm going to record the track that I had going into the Tascam Model 12. And this is just going to be a loop that I create. So let me, I'm going to double the length of it once. That's going to give me eight bars, double that to get 16, and then I'll double that to get 32. So now I've got 32 bars and I'm not going to loop it so that I'll know when it's done. And now I'm just going to, I've got tracks three and four record armed and I've got them matched as far as uh, their levels coming in and as far as their levels on the mixing desk feeding into the main channel. So uh, I've also got the same amount of compression on both channels and I'm just going to hit record, give it a second, and then I'll hit play on the MPC one plus. Here we go. MPC one plus is turned off and I've got the MP I've got the task cam model 12 going and my baby, the uh, guitar section over here. So that is the Nux Golden Horse going into the Two Notes Revolt preamp and the HX Stomp for some effects. That's coming out of my Gretsch and into the Tascam. And I'm going to do some guitar now. Okay. Gretsch G5655T into my guitar chain into the Model 12. I'm going to mute the vocal and then we'll record an improvisation. Let's see how it goes.
Okay, there we go. So that was pretty fun. Um, I'll have to say that I am coming around to the Model 12 a little bit. It still has some of the problems that I talked about. Um, another thing that I noticed is I ha I'm monitoring using a Bayer Dynamic DT1770s, and these are 250 ohm headphones. And the Model 12 does not uh, power these very well. I got to crank up the main channel pretty high to get a decent signal out of these. And uh, the, the, the signal that's going into the uh, camera is actually coming in much hotter, me coming out of the back of this thing, the outputs. So, and another thing that I noticed, uh, the first time that I tried to do something similar to this with the Model 12, I actually went out of the left and right outputs of the MPC One Plus into channel 910, which is a stereo channel of the Tascam Model 12, and I used a stereo to, like, I used a stereo TRS cable to a breakout, right? So, and that going that going into channel 910 out of the outs of the MPC One Plus created a problem where I had to pan all of the drums in order to be able to hear them properly. Like when I had, like today, I used two separate cables going out of both outs, going into channel three and four, so two separate channels. And I didn't have to do any panning to get the drums to show up. But some of the drums would were not present until I panned everything. I even had to pan the kick drum, which I would never really do in any sort of mix. So I'm getting the hang of this thing. It has its quirks. It does work. It does provide certain benefits. It's still not as easy to work with as I'd like, but I'm coming around to it. Um, and it really did come in handy when I was recording the uh, Tiny Desk contest submission, which I posted recently. You can check that out in the feed of my videos. But uh, I had fun today. Um, gonna mess around with the multi-track recorder functions of the model 12 a little bit more i think it might also be beneficial if i'm like recording videos and i record the audio completely separate from the camera when i'm recording them and uh yeah so it might have some benefits in that way uh more to come later i'm gonna keep messing with this thing while i have it and while i don't want to ship this thing selling it probably gonna hold on to this model 12 a little while longer get the hang of it and uh yeah if not i'll leave it up in the garage and just use it for when i rehearse but thank you guys for watching <laughs>